Hello friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will show you how to fix the error connect hyphen msol service is not recognized error, which I got while executing the PowerShell command that is connect hyphen msol service. This is the error you can able to see here. I'm trying to execute connect hyphen msol service and I got this error, the term connect msol service is not recognized. Part of this video tutorial, we will see how I got this error and how I fixed this error and successfully executed this particular command connect hyphen msol service. So let's start with a quick demo. For that, let me open PowerShell IAC with a run as administrator mode. So here, here uh, Windows PowerShell IAC already I have opened with run as administrator mode. You can able to see here, I got this particular error. Okay, let me execute once more time and I'll show you uh, how I'm getting this error. You can able to see here, after executing this particular command, connect hyphen msol service, I got this error. The term connect msol service is not recognized as the name of a CMD lab. So when you are getting this error, to fix this error, what I have done is, the first thing is, I have to install this MS online Azure PowerShell module, okay? So let's execute this command. Install module name MS online. So here, just click on the yes button. And once you will install this MS online module, what you need to do is you need to execute the complete PowerShell command like this. So first thing is we need to import uh, this module MS online and then we are getting the credential with the help of get hyphen credential uh, and we are storing it to dollar credentials variable and then with the PowerShell command connect MS Ipen msol service, we are passing that particular variable with the credentials. Okay. Now we will execute. Remember that first thing is we have to install the module ms online. Once you will install it successfully, then you need to execute the uh, PowerShell command in this order. Okay. Run this command. I will enter the credentials. Let me enter the password as well. Click on the OK button. You can able to see, we are able to uh, run this particular command successfully without any issue. Now you need to enter your Azure credentials to proceed further. So we are not getting that error that we are getting earlier. Okay. So this is how you can able to fix this particular error. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this uh, video helpful, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you will get lots of free videos on different Azure articles, Azure lab, different Azure PowerShell commands, which are very helpful for you. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.